Okay, so we have discussed the analysis of insertions what already that was based on the uh, decrease and conquer approach. And uh, today we will study the analysis of the bubble sort in the selection sort, which are two other sorting algorithms. And uh, we will study the analysis of these iterative algorithms of these two problems, bubble sort and selection sort. So before starting that, I would just like to give you a brief idea about the logic of the bubble sort. Then we will talk about the analysis. After that, we will discuss the selection sort and that's analysis. So bubble sort is a simple algorithm which is used to sort a given set of n elements, uh, like provided in the form of an array with n number of elements. The bubble sort compares all the elements one by one and sort them based on their values. So if the given array has to be sorted in ascending order, then bubble sort will start by comparing the first element of the array with the second element. The first element is greater than the second element. It will swap both the elements and then move on to compare the second and the third element and so on. So if we have total n element, then we need to repeat this process for n management time. So this is the basically number of passes which are required. So we can understand this by one example, like we are having a list like this. Suppose we are having some number and uh, the index value suppose are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Numbers are 12, 6, 2, 9, 4. Okay. So what will happen? Uh, it is known bubble sort because with every complete iteration, the largest element in the given array bubbles up toward the last place or the highest index. Just like a water bubble rises up in the water surface. So every largest element of that particular list on which we are working on, that will be pop up to the last position of that particular list. So initially, we are having a list of five elements. So in the first pass, the largest element will reach at the last location. And the second pass, second largest element will reach at the last position of the four element list and so on. So the process is initially we'll start from first two elements. Means we will compare the first element with the second element. And if the first element is less than, sorry, greater than second element, then we will do a swapping. So hoga kya is mein, jo largest element hoga, wo is tarike se swap hota hua, apni equal position the pahun jayega. So initially we'll compare 12 with 6, so 12 is greater than 6. So 12 is greater than 6 means there will be a swapping. We will swap it like this. Now we have compared first and second and uh, there is a swapping. Now compare second and third and 12 is compared with 2. So 12 is greater than 2. So again there is a swapping and we will have 2 here, 12 here. Now 12 is compared with 9. 12 is greater than 9. So there will be a swapping again. So here we will have 9. And here we will have 12. Now 12 is compared with 4. So 12 is greater than 4. So 4 will come here. 12 will come here. OK, so this is the way the first largest element or the largest element of the list will bubble up to the last position. So initially we were having the list of five elements. Then after Placing the largest element at the last position, the list reduces to size of four elements like this. Now the same process will be repeated again. So I'm just showing the second iteration. Six will compare with two. Six is greater than two, so there is a swapping, and two will be there. Six will be here. Then six is compared with nine. Six is less than nine, so no swapping. Then nine is compared with four. Nine is greater than four, so there is a swapping. And we will have two elements in the sorted position, or the second largest element is placed at the second last position in the second iteration. Okay, so in this way, the whole process and uh, the whole operation takes place. So sorting takes place by stepping through all the elements one by one and 
comparing it with the addition element and swapping them if required. It is easier to implement but slower than the insertion sort algorithm because the complexity of uh, the bubble sort in every case will be theta of n square or o of n square. But the best case complexity of the insertion sort was o of n. Okay, so the logic is easy, but the complexity is high as compared to the insertion sort. Okay, so this is an example here. We are having this list 5, 1, 6, 2, 4, 3. Initially, these two will be compared. So you can see 5 is greater than 1. So there will be a swapping. 5 will come here, 1, is, 1 will be here. Now these two elements compared 5 and 6. So in this example, only those steps are shown where there is a swapping. Is. 5 is 6, 5 is less than 6, no swapping. 6 with 2, 6, yeah, swapping hoga. 6 will come here. 6 with 4, there again a swapping. Or 6. 6 with 3 again as swapping and we will have elements like this. So this is the first iteration or the first pass. So after this first pass, this largest element reached at its appropriate position or the last position. Okay. So now let's talk about the comp uh, algorithm of this bubble sort. So you can see here. Uh, for every iteration, they will have a loop here, which will execute from i equal 0 to i less than n. Then there will be a nesting of loop. This is another loop. It will be used for comparison and swapping purpose. It will for each iteration, means first largest element, second largest element, and so on. And it will be for swapping and comparison, means adjacent element will be compared and swapped. So for j equal 0, j less than n minus i minus 1 and j plus plus. So if array of j greater than array of uh, j plus 1, then this array of j plus should be swapped with this one. So this is the swapping procedure. So now let's talk about the complexity of the bubble sort algorithm. So you can see here, this is the main logic operation basically. So this will decide the complexity for the bubble sort. So we are giving just input of the array A. So for i equal 0, i less than an i plus plus, this is the outer loop. Suppose its cost is C1. This is the inner nested loop, its cost is C2. This is the comparison operation here in the inner loop, cost is C3. And this is the basically swapping. If required, then it will be, the cost of this operation will be C4. Now we will find out that how many number of times these each operation will get executed. So, uh, in a normal case, the comparison, these comparisons and these exchanges will be around n square by 2. This is uh, for the average case only. Okay. So, this statement will execute. Suppose uh, it will execute n plus 1 times. It is executing from 0 to i less than n or 0 to n minus 1. So, n time will execute over and one more time for checking the condition. So it will execute n plus one times. This next one will execute. So as it is dependent on the value of i, it will execute n minus i minus one times. Okay, so means for every value of i, it will execute this time. We can do a summation like this: summation of i equal one to n, n minus i. Now why this is n minus n minus i? Because ye ek one time or execute hoga for checking the condition when the condition will be false. So n minus i minus 1 plus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled. So we will get n minus i. Or ye jo iske under ke instruction hai, this one and this one. This, these will execute 1 less than to this. So as it is, it will execute n minus i time. So these will execute n minus i minus 1 time. n minus i minus 1 time. Okay, so this is the equation for the bubble sort algorithm or the running time of the bubble sort algorithm. Now we can uh, simply solve it as the bubble sort. Suppose the list is in the sorted order. Then this loop will execute, this loop will execute. OK, so in contribution hoga wo n square form mein hoga. Agar reverse order mein hai, toh bhi same, uh, matlab ye to execute hona hi hona hai. Condition check honi honi hai. Or bar. 
और एवरेज केस में भी होना है सो हर एक केस में बबल शॉर्ट इन एवरी केस विल बिहेव लाइक सेम ओके सो द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इन ईच एंड एवरी केस विल बी कैन बी डिनोटेड बाय दिस वन नाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस समीशन ऑफ आई इक्वल वन टू एन माइनस आई सो इट विल बी समीशन ऑफ आई इक्वल वन टू एन सॉरी आई इक्वल वन टू एन एंड इट इज एन माइनस आई तो इसको हम सेपरेट कर सकते हैं अच्छा यहाँ सॉल्यूशन दे रखा है इसमें सो इट इज समीशन ऑफ आई इक्वल वन टू एन एन माइनस आई देन इट विल बी लाइक दिस यू कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस ओके सो आई इक्वल वन टू एन मीन एन एन टाइम दैट विल बी एन स्क्वायर एंड इट इज समीशन ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड नेचुरल नंबर ओके सो दिस विल बी एन स्क्वायर एंड इट विल बी एन एंड प्लस वन बाई टू एन स्क्वायर माइनस एन एंड टेन प्लस वन बाई टू बेसिकली यू विल गैट द इक्वेशन इन दिस फॉर्म एन स्क्वायर माइनस एन बाई टू फॉर दिस वन ठीक है ना इसमें यहाँ पे एन और एड हो जाएगा माइनस एन हो जाएगा माइनस एन तो वैन वी सिंपली सेपरेट द टर्म्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ द पावर्स ऑफ ऑफ द एन विच एन स्क्वायर टर्म्स एंड द टर्म्स विद एन एस पावर वन द टर्म विद द कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू सो विल गैट द इक्वेशन एंड द हाइस्ट ऑर्डर टर्म इन दैट इक्वेशन विल बी एन स्क्वायर द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द बबल्स होटल गॉरथम विल बी थीटा ऑफ एन स्क्वायर ओके सो इट विल बी सेम फॉर एवरी केस लाइक इंसेशन शॉर्ट बबल शॉर्ट एंड सेलेक्शन सॉरी बेस्ट केस वर्स्ट केस एंड एवरेज केस एंड दिस इज हाई एंड द कॉस्ट इज हाई और कंपेरेटिवली कॉस्ट इल गौरथम एज कम्पेयर टू द इंसेशन शॉर्ट एल गौरथम एट द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ इंसेशन शॉर्ट विल बी इन द वर्स्ट केस दैट विल बी ओ थीट ऑफ एन स्क्वायर बट इन द बेस्ट केस दैट विल बी थीट ऑफ एन Now next sorting algorithm is selection sort algorithm. So the idea in the, of the selection sort is find the smallest element in the array and exchange it with the element in the first position. Now find the second smallest element and exchange it with the element in the second position, and so on. The total and the complete list we are suppose we are given an array, and the logic is find out the minimum element or the smallest element from the list and place that. at the first position suppose we are having list like this 9 2 8 1 1 4 and 3 so visually if we are observe uh, we simply observe this then this is the minimum element okay and we need to find out this minimum smallest element and after that we simply swap it with the first position element so one will come here and nine will come here okay now the list will be this 2 8 9 4 3 So again, we will find out the smallest element and we will place that here. In next case, we will place the third smallest element here, and so on, till the list is sorted. So find the smallest element in the array, exchange it with the element in the first position. Find the second smallest element and exchange it with the element in the second position, and continue until the array is sorted. and one of the disadvantages is the running time depends only slightly on the amount of order of the file so in this case also the running time doesn't depends on the order of the list like it is in sorted order or the um, in the reverse order that doesn't affect the complexity of the algorithm so like uh, suppose this is the case we are having this list of numbers here the smallest number is this so in the first pass this number will be find out and it will be placed at uh, exchange with the element at the first position so after this this is the gray area these elements are in a sorted order this is the unsorted list so here again we will find out the minimum element suppose it is 2 here not suppose it is a 2 here so it will be replaced with this 4 then 3 then 4 okay then 6 then 8 then 9 so this is list is sorted in this case This is the algorithm of the selection sort. An equal length of a as we are just passing the array in the selection sort procedure. So we'll calculate the length of the array. Here the loop will get executed from the i equal one to n minus one. Why we are writing it up to n minus one? Because जैसे जो भी list है उसमें से हम क्या करेंगे? जब ए सिंगल एलिमेंट की लिस्ट होगी तो एलिमेंट ऑटोमेटिकली अपनी पोजीशन पे होगा सो इन फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर इटरेशन इट इज देयर नो नीड टू एग्जीक्यूट द अल्गोरिथम सो जे इक्वल 1 टू n 1 सो हियर वी विल अज्यूम लाइक द स्मॉलेस्ट 
is J. Achha. So let I'm just can explain you by some taking example. Suppose the loop is executing from I equal 1 to suppose it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So loop will execute for J equal 1, 2, 6. And uh, here the smallest will be J. So I'm writing it min. Okay, it is initially for J equal 1, it is 1. Okay, this key value modify it to J. And uh, loop, inner loop is executing for I equal J plus 1, that is 2, 2, it will execute 7. So, ye 1 to 6 execute hoga mean there will be total 6 iteration. And it will execute from 2 to 7. So number of time, kitan, ye same same executor, it is executing for 6 time, it will execute for 6 time. But it will execute for 6 time, only 2 to 7 for every value of J. For J equal 1, execute for 2 to 7. J equal to execute for 2 to 7 and so on. So initially, we are assumed the minimum element is at the first index value. Okay. Now, we simply do the comparison like A of I, we like A of I less than A of smallest or minimum. Yeah, minimum like that. Okay. So, A of I, A of I ki value ho gai 2. So, A of 2, A of 2 kitna hai 4 less than a of min a of 1 that is 8 yes it is less than 8 4 is less than 8 so then a smallest will be i what is the i 2 so mini ki value kya ho jayegi 2 so, ye execute hua yahan pe i equal 2 ke liye j equal 1 i equal 2 now it will execute for i equal 3 i'm just raising this i equal 3 so a of i means it is a of 3 a of 3 is 6 and a of min that is 2 a2 that is 4 so 6 is less than 4 no condition false so no swapping now for i equal 4 so a of 4 a of 4 is 9 less than a of 2 4 no condition false then it will execute for i equal 5 so a of 5 is 2 2 less than 4 yes 2 less than 4 so the smallest will be i, i ki value kitni hai 5. So yahan pe kya ho jayega, min will be 5. Okay. And uh, 5 ke liye ho gaya, now it will execute for 6. So a of 6 is uh, 3. And a of min is 2. 3 is less than 2, no condition false. And i equal 7. So for i equal 7, a of 7 is 1, is less than Sorry, yeah, two, uh, two, th two. Yes, condition true. So the min will be i. The min ki value. Yeah, index kya ho jayegi? That is seven. So pura iteration ke baad we have find out the location of the minimum element. That is seven. Index value of the minimum element or the smallest element. Now simply swap these values. We swap this with the value of the j. First iteration mein the first element se second iteration or second element se like this. So exchange A of J means 8 with A of small it means 1. So after the swapping, 1 will here and 8 will here. Okay, now the process will start from here, J equal 2 to 6, like this. So this is the main logic or the processing of the selection sort algorithm. So here, this is the loop. It will execute for j equal 1 to n times. Either the list is sorted or unsorted. So it, that, that will not affect the operation or the complexity. It is executing j equal 1 to n minus 1. So here is condition that restrict it. If it executes, I equal j plus 1 to n. So execute hona hai, to hona hai hai. So assume like it is executing n times, then it will also execute n times. The complexity will be n square in terms of order of n square. So it's going to be a message. Karte hai. Suppose the cost of uh, each operation is in this form c1237 number of time it is executing like this n equal length of a this will execute uh, cost c1 and it will execute one time ye hum assume kar lete hain it is executing this one is executing n time so ye n time execute ho raha hai to ye kitni bar execute hoga it will execute n minus one time ye kitni bar execute hoga it is just depends on the value of i equal j plus one Okay, so this is executed like for j equal 1, it is executed like n minus j 
plus one times. Now for the j equal two k le bhi same time execute hoga. So we can write it for j summation of j equal one to n minus one. Summation of j equal one to n minus one and minus j plus one. This one ek kam bar execute hoga and minus j. This one same kam bar execute hoga and minus j. Or ye jo hai, ye it is in this outer loop. It is not in this. So it will execute according to this. Mean it will execute n minus one time. So it is n minus one. So we can simply add these values like c of n equals c1, c2, n, c3, n minus one like this. This we can solve. 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 तो यहाँ पर जो टर्म्स निकल के आएंगे अब जैसे बेस्ट एवरेज एंड वर्स्ट केस तो कुछ है ही नहीं तीनों एक जैसे होंगे क्योंकि तो उससे कोई हम आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर सकते इस चीज़ को कि भाई इन इस पर कोई इम्पैक्ट हो रहा है नहीं हो रहा है ओके सो इस पूरे प्रोसेस में जो हमको हाइस्ट ऑर्डर टाइम मिलेगी दैट विल बी थीटा ऑफ एन स्क्वायर सो द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द अलगोरिथम ऑफ द सलेक्शन शॉर्ट विल बी ऑर्डर ऑफ एन स्क्वायर और थीटा ऑफ एन स्क्वायर 